How you doing? Today we're dealing with this conifer. Just there. There's a lot of things that are going on at the bottom, kind of shoots that are coming out. So we'll be able to deal a lot with it from the ground level to start off with. And then I'll climb the tree and get up in there. Just take it down a little bit, probably strip some of the branches. There's like two or three stems that go up. So we'll strip them off as we go up and then uh, deal with the log. We've got a nice area here to work with. Got to move that bench. Um, but yeah, fairly straightforward, decent sized tree. So let's go and get stuck in. Uh, slight change of plan, you might be able to see the bench down there and this is the stuff that I was talking about, it would be easy to deal with uh, but the customers want to retain it as a screen which is fair enough it does make it a little bit more tricky for us but I just have to deal with it So what I'll do, I'll climb the tree in get an anchor point in one of these first and then I can come down and work from a rope and harness to deal with the tree so in order to get to the top of the tree I've got my main line here and uh, a side strop and I just alternate the two so put my side strop higher move my feet up and then move the climbing line up alternate like that if there's any branches in the way I can just cut them out I'm near the top of the tree now and I've got these stems here and this one Nick, yeah are you filming? yeah uh, keep showing mate. Background ambience. Here we are in the garden. So I've got two of these stems, this one here, those two over there. But I've gone for this one because it's at the back of the tree, so I can deal with this one last. And these pulley savers are great. A bit of kit. They just reduce the friction on the rope. So it saves wear on me and my rope and the tree. I'm going to start by uh, stripping this as I go down, making a bit more room for me to work on the other ones. See there where there was a branch and that's been rubbing. Eventually that will wear through and that branch will fall off. Just trying to make a bit of space. This is quite an interesting feature and um, it's not that uncommon. If you imagine a tree when it was younger, it probably had two branches here, something like that. And what would normally happen is one would dominate and that would become a, a side branch, but you've got two branches that have become co-dominant, so they've both grown up. And on the inside here, there's not enough room for the tree to continue to grow outwards. So it's what's known as a compressed fork there's a lot of compression within there and these are trying to they're pushing against each other and as the tree gets bigger 
it's not unable to put on enough timber to support itself on the inside. It can only put timber on the outside. The bit on the inside gets squashed out. Operation disrupt the video, man. No, 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 I didn't say that. No. Damn it. So that's the structural weakness, and it's something to be to be mindful of and watch out for. So this is probably a better example of a compressed fork. So if you can imagine, as this tree grows to support the weight of the tree above it, the timber gets thicker, so it expands outwards and gets thicker and thicker. And here, because the two stems are pressing against each other, it's limited by how much it can grow in the centre where they're two touching. So it pushes the timber out. And the union isn't actually there, it's down here somewhere. So all of that there, you've got a, a split that goes down. And you've got all the weight that will be acting as a lever going one way or the other. So that is why compressed forks are... A structural weakness and something to worry about. If you compare that to a normal fork, something like that, you can see as this gets thicker to expand with the increased weight of it, it's pretty much unrestricted and can just get thicker and thicker and thicker, whereas there it's limited by the other stem. So it's increased, you've got all the weight on the one side and with limited reaction wood you can put down on the inside to uh, to cope with the increased stress and eventually this tree unless something's done about it that will fail given enough time so they need to do something about this tree really that made a bit more sense i don't think i did a very good job trying to explain it in the tree but hopefully that makes more sense sometimes it's quicker and safer I'll just use a handful on the smaller diameter stuff That looks a bit sketchy, but there is a thicker print underneath, behind it. Uh, right. Right, now I need to get this down to the ground. Somehow, and as you can see, there's not much space. I just have to go as high as I can. Lock this bit down. So I'm back at that compressed fork and uh, I'll cut into it, see if that makes more sense. So cutting into that fork, you can see the centre of the two stems at one point was there. And then without, it's able to put on growth going outwards, that direction, but not that way. And then this fault line here will continue down the stem. And with all the weight that's on it in the one direction, either that way or that way, two stems are kind of pushing against each other. It is a structural weakness. So it is quite common, there's one there, there's another one down there, and then there's three stems there that are all compressed together. So it is a common thing, particularly in uh, conifers like this. I'm on the last stem now and uh, just got to strip all these branches off all the way down uh, but I've got to be careful of that roof so I'm gonna have to cut everything and throw it behind me easy uh, but it looks like we've lost the branch there at some point in the past we probably just snapped off in the winds 
and uh, probably going on their roof maybe. Is that you? What? What? To be honest, it's like trying to hit a mole. <laughs> Scurrying around underneath me. You can just stay still. <laughs> it's on the ground today, we've got Nick, the comedian, and Jen. The audience. <laughs> I'm going to have to do a lot of editing in this video. So that is the clump that the customers want to keep as a screen, which makes sense. It looks better than I thought it would, to be honest. I thought it would look quite, uh, quite bare but we'll see what it looks like on the ground once this is down. So with this, to make it a bit easier, I'm going to cut a notch cut, a uh, face, whatever you want to call it, in there to get the weight to go this way and then I'm going to do the back cut with a hand saw just because it's safer. You'll have to forgive him, he's a little bit special. Uh, that is not the best one, to be honest, that is pants, but it'll do it. There's a village somewhere missing its idiot. Right then, so now I've got the top out of there, I can log this down. So there we have it, one free delimbed, just the logs now to get rid of. Hope you're enjoying this video, if you are, do give me a thumbs up, a little bit of a like, that'll be good, thank you. There we go, tree gone, as if by magic. That was quite fun to do actually. A um, few obstacles I need to avoid, like the, the roof next door, the house, uh, the garden patch. Yeah, there's a lot going on again. Um, but that's what makes it interesting, I guess. Um, the customers wants to keep that there as a bit of a screen. It doesn't look too good from this angle. It looks better from the house where they can see it, so um, that's staying. I guess eventually the sensible thing to do would be plant something behind it. So it's going to grow, grow upright uh, and then eventually deal with this when the, uh, the the other tree's established. Or maybe this will fill out enough. Time will see, they've got options anyway. So um, we just need to, well, get packed up, I guess. It's getting quite late, so um, we'll get tidied up as best we can and then get out of here. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Wait for Nick to shout some abuse. <laughs> um, yeah, I hope you've liked this video. If you have, feel free to give me a, a thumbs up, a subscribe, uh, whatever you want. If you've got any questions, drop me a comment below as well, that'd be great. See you in the next video.